Okay guys, we've got this uh, Club Sport VF and uh, we've got some pretty dirty wheels here. Beautiful afternoon to do a little bit of detailing. Um, we also got our new brushes, the little chubby and our big black one. Our 20 inches of uh, detailing love right there in my hand. But, uh, and our little soft details brush too. I'm just gonna show you how we use this combination of products to clean a really uh, dirty um, set of wheels, which is exactly what this will need. So we have our wash, we've got a pressure washer all hooked up. Um, we're actually uh, we're using the Nanalicious this afternoon. It's a choice, you know, whatever wash you want to use, they're all good. Um, the Nanalicious is just what we've chosen for the Sabo. And uh, when we start, we're going to get it up under the guards here. Now, we're going to hit it with the uh, orange agent. Spray a bit of it liberally, actually right up under the guards. Let it sit there for a little bit. Then, use our big black one, dip it into your suds bucket. And start get always get in from underneath and start work your way up. This has got that felt carpet there and it'll still clean up all the sound and everything. Cool. That's that. Then we got orange agent again. We'll run around and do these tires. So we're gonna come back later, use the tire sheen, so it's important to get someone to clean it down first. And then wheelie clean our new formula. And uh, this one's great, doesn't stink anymore. And you'll see this chemical reaction that it has. We've got copious amounts of brake dust on here. I'm using a fair bit, getting it right up in the barrels because we're going to clean up in there too. And just let it sit there for a bit. Look at that chemical reaction. That's just absolutely insane, coming in beautifully. Oh, that's beautiful. Anyway, so from here, we grab a little chubby brush. Start on the outside, clean these tyres down, get a good rub over. Beautiful soft bristles on this, but still stiff enough. We didn't go horsehair, because they, we found they, they break down in that over time, so we've gone for a feathered bristle. It's got plenty of substance, not enough that's gonna scratch. And also with these brushes, we put this neoprene edge on it to stop stuff you bang against your rims, so it's not gonna damage. So just cool little things about these brushes. So give it a clean out in your wheels bucket, and then we'll come back. The actual flat face. So any of the flat faces on your rims, where these brushes are just brilliant. Right in there. Yeah, you can help wheelie clean on the calipers. I'm not concerned. This formula's wheelie clean. The new one's super safe. It doesn't dry like the previous one used to. So you can working time can be a lot longer. It reacts quicker still, which is um, absolutely awesome. And then get our soft details brush and get into all these areas. I'll get around the caliper in that as well. That's all done. Then get the pressure washer. Start from the bit you did first. Because this has the felt lining on the inside, just don't go in too hard and too close. Just nice down. Bloody awesome. And uh, it's a pretty quick and easy job. When the wheels are really dirty like that, I like to do them separate. You can use, put the uh, wheelie clean on and then do them with the snow foam if you wish. Clean them through, but when you're doing them uh, one wheel at a time, have your bucket, have all your gear set up and run around. You can also use the bigger wheel wheelie too and get in behind all the, the lugs and things like that too if you want to get real fastidious about it, which a lot of people do. But um, this little combination here does a wonderful job and yeah, just awesome. So we'll keep doing, do detail the rest of the car. Hope you got something from that. Thanks guys and girls.